Hey all, what's up? I'm Lindsay with First Line Equipment and today we're going to make a cup of coffee using our Hario V60 Brewer. So when you get the Hario, it comes with a scoop, the glass cup. The box does not include filters, but we're going to be using the unbleached uh, 01 size filters, which you can purchase at firstline.com. So what you want to do is you want to fold along the seam here. It does so pretty easily, so it makes a perfect cone on our brewer. It's gonna pop up a little bit, but that's okay, because we're gonna hold it down with some water. So what you wanna do is we wanna take our kettle of uh, just below boiling water, and we want to pour it on the filter. So we rinse out any of that paper taste that could come through when we brew our coffee. Heat, um, have a consistent heat on our vessel that we're going to be brewing in. We're gonna take this water out, dump it out, pop our brewer right back onto our scale. We're going to use our scoop, which comes out to be 12, if you level it out, 12 grams of coffee. We're gonna add uh, that. But what you wanna do is you just wanna saturate the grounds here, probably only putting about 40 grams of water in there, just so we can see that CO2 start to release um, out of the coffee beans, bringing out all the aromas from the grinds. So we're gonna let that settle for about 30 seconds or so. And once that process is done, we're going to begin our second pour. We wanna get up to 170 grams of water. So we're just gonna be adding only 130 more grams of water. And once again, we wanna go in that circular motion, trying to avoid touching the edges of the uh, paper filter. This is a ratio that we prefer, uh, but it's figuring out how you like it is just gonna take a little bit of playing around to your taste, uh, especially because this only brews about one to two cups. We figured to just go at a smaller ratio. This is your own personal little uh, ratio cup of coffee. So by the end, what you hope to see if you had a nice consistent pour are the grounds um, kind of evenly distributing down to the center of the cone. Um, if you see any sort of chambers going in through it, then you have to just perfect your pour just a little bit more. Now that our extraction time is finished, we're going to remove the filter. You can dispose of this in your trash or your compost, and there you have your beautiful cup of coffee. So what's nice about the Hario V60 uh, design is these spiral ribs that uh, go down leading the coffee to this larger hole, uh, which means it's a speedier uh, extraction time of the coffee, uh, and it kind of pulls out different flavors than a normal pour over would. It takes a little experimenting to figure out uh, what ratio you like uh, for the flavor, but luckily it doesn't take too long, so you can keep experimenting all day long if you don't get jittery by the time you're done. <laughs> well, there you have it. A great cup of coffee using our Hario V60. I'm Lindsay from First Line Equipment. Thank you for watching.